Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to add and subtract in scientific notation. Let's say we have the problem 3 times 10 to the 4th power plus 6.4 times 10 to the 4th power. When you're adding and subtracting in scientific notation, your goal is basically to combine like terms. Now in this case, we do not have any variables, but we're going to differentiate the constants, which in this case are 3 and 6.4, from our exponents, which are 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 4th. Now this problem is extremely easy. Why? Because we have the same exponents. When you have the same exponents and you're adding or subtracting in scientific notation, you're basically just adding or subtracting the constants. So we're going to add 3 and 6.4 since in this case we have addition. So when you add 3 and 6.4, you get 9.4 times 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 4th, since they're the same, it's just basically going to stay the same. You're not going to do anything to the exponent if it's the same. So it's going to stay 10 to the 4th power. And that's our solution. 9.4 times 10 to the 4th power is how you're, going to add, how you're going to add 3 times 10 to the 4th and 6.4 times 10 to the 4th. Now let's go ahead and do an example that doesn't involve the same exponents. So let's say we have... 4.6 times 10 to the third plus 4 times 10 to the second. Now in this case, our constants are 4.6 and 4, and our exponents are 10 to the third and 10 to the second, in which, in this case, the base is the same, which is always going to be 10, but our exponents are different. We have 3 and 2. Now, in order to add or subtract in scientific notation, the exponents of our bases have to be same. In order to do that, there's this sort of trick or something, like I guess an easy tip to remember, which is, well, I'll write it down over here. If you want to increase the exponent, you're going to decrease, so you're going to decrease the value of the constant. So what I mean by that is if you want to increase, so let's say we have 10 to the second and 10 to the third, right? If we want to increase this exponent and make it 10 to the third, we need to increase, we have, we have to decrease the value of the constant. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first one is going to stay the same, 4.6 times 10 to the third we're trying to increase the value of this exponent. So what we're going to do is, so let me write this in a different color, okay. Multiplication sign stays the same, of course, and then we have 10 to the second is going to become 10 to the third. We went up in our exponents by 1, right? But in our constant, we're going to have to decrease one place value. So it's going to become, from here, it's going to go back 1, and it's going to become 0 0.4. So as you increase in your exponents, you're going to decrease in the value of the constant. And so this is our new term. So we have 0.4 times 10 to the third. Now let's say if we were trying to decrease the exponent, then we would have done the opposite thing. So we would have increased one place value of the constant. So this is some good, like, I guess, tips or whatever to remember when you're dealing with scientific notation in addition and subtraction. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem. Now that we have the same exponents for our bases, all we have to do is combine the constants. We have 4.6 plus 0 0.4, which gives us 5 times 10 to the third power. And that is our solution. So... This is how you add when you have this different exponents in scientific notation. Now, this would have been the exact same thing you would do if you had subtraction. But let's just go ahead and do an example just in case. Let's say we have 2.6 times 10 to the negative 1 power minus 1.4 times 10 to the negative 1 power. In this case, we're subtracting, so, uh, I mean, sorry, okay, 
So we're subtracting, and our constants are 2.6 and 1.4, and our exponents are the exact same. So 10 to the negative 1 and 10 to the negative 1. So all we're going to do is we're going to keep the exponent just as it is and subtract 2.6 and 1.4, which gives us 1.2. So we have 1.2 times 10 to the negative 1 power. And that's our solution. Now, if our exponents would have been different, then you're still going to follow the, sim, the same uh, right here as I've said. If you wanted to increase the value of the exponent, you would have decreased the value of the constant. And if you wanted to decrease the value of the exponent, you would have increased the value of the constant. It's the same rule that applies to both addition and subtraction. So this is basically it for scientific notation and adding and subtracting. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!